This is the split cath long-term or permanent cuffed dual lumen dialysis catheter. Its uh, innovative design has a customizable splittable tip. Uh, this is a split tip catheter versus a step tip. The two most common types. Well, the most common type is a step tip. This is a split. And uh, this particular one is the only one on the market that has a customizable tip, meaning that the physician can split the uh, end of the catheter to the a desired length based on body habitus or physician preference that allows for uh, better function, better flow rates, less issues with its flow, decreasing exchanges, which then decreases infection rates. Comes in a 14 French and 16 French in various lengths. Uh, this is what the kit looks like here. Comes with a uh, 038 J tip guide wire, uh, 18 gauge needle, caps, a tunneling device right here, a scalpel, dilators, tegaderm, IFU, and here is an air guard sheath, which is a valve peel away sheath that the catheter gets inserted through. The valve minimizes or eliminates the risk of, pul of pulmonary embolus or air embolus during the insertion process. When you take the catheter out of the package, you'll notice it has blue and red lumen like most other catheters. The nice thing about this one is it has a stiffening stylet in the red lumen with a little tag here. It also says, tension, do not clamp over stylet. So when you prep this for an exchange, the stylet is only for over-the-wire exchanges. So if you're going to do an exchange, you just make sure this is snug, flush and clamp the blue lumen. Do not clamp the red lumen as the tag states, but just flush it. Remove the catheter from the package. At the distal end, you'll notice there's a slightly split when it comes out of the package, and then what the physician's gonna do is further split it like a banana peel, pull it apart. You can't break it, it's tough polyurethane. It softens when it's in the body, but you can split it. Uh, usually halfway is pretty much the most common amount of splitting that people do. It's halfway to the mark here that says do not split past this point. This is a pretty good example of what most of them look like, what most physicians split them to. And then you're going to take the stylet and on the inside of the catheter here you'll see a in medial side hole. You're going to slip that stylet through the side hole carefully so you don't kink it. Pull it out the distal tip. That makes both the proximal and distal lumens on the stylet. So then you would just have your guide wire in place. So your guide wire would go through the existing malfunctioning catheter. You'd back out the malfunctioning catheter, leaving the wire in the patient and then sliding this over the wire through the tissue tract, through the venotomy site down into the right atrium, remove the stylet, and then the catheter is in place. If you're doing a fresh placement, which is probably the most common, these function pretty well and are very rarely exchanged. But if uh, you're doing a fresh placement, you're going to take this out of the package. It's going to look like this. You're going to get rid of the stylet because you don't need it for a fresh placement. You're going to flush and lock both lumens. Go to the distal tip. Again, it's going to look about like that out of the package. You're going to split it further anywhere from a quarter to halfway. Halfway being halfway to that mark. So that's about the normal amount of splitting that the most physicians do, but it can go depending on anatomy. They might want to do less or more. And then you're going to take the uh, tunneling device, put it on the distal lumen with the barbed end, and then carefully slide the nose cone over both the distal and proximal lumen like that, so that when you pull it through the chest wall up to the venotomy site, both lumens are inside that nose cone and it prevents the catheter from bunching up. Once you get it through up to the IJ, you remove the tunneler and then just insert that through that peel away that I showed you earlier. The reason why this is such a good catheter is that the uh, lumens on the inside of the patient are separate, so it's two separate lumens kind of moves around with the blood flow, turbulence in there, heartbeat, all that keeps the fiber and tissue formation to a minimum. 
and also eliminates uh, a phenomenon you see with step tips where they get, you know, if that's a step to catheter, it can get sucked up against the atrial wall or the superior vena cava. With this particular catheter, because they're kind of moving around and, you know, once this is in place, it gets more flimsy because it softens. So uh, the motion eliminates both fibrin tissue formation or minimizes it and also minimizes uh, catheter malfunction due to being sucked up against anatomy. Some places use split tips primarily and some places use mostly uh, are primarily step tip catheters because they're more cost effective and then if the patient comes back with a poor functioning step tip catheter they'll do an over the wire exchange for a split tip catheter. That is the split tip permanent dialysis catheter.